Hello everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. Today we are going to have a look at um, ranchers and fishers I think. So let's get started. So here's the recipe as you can see for a rancher. Fairly straightforward. Copper plates. It's a, it's a Mark 1 from Industrial Revolution. It's a fairly straightforward machine. A battery and machine block. A Mark 1 circuit. A feather. A bucket of uh, milk. And four bronze plates. Nothing special. I've made one of those already. I'll have a look at that later on. The next thing I'd like to look at is this, which is a rancher. So have a look at the rancher. Not the rancher. This is the um, fisher. Try fisher then. And this is a basic fisher. Again, it's from Industrial Revolution, as you can see. And this one's fairly straightforward. Silver plates, no problem. Machine block, no problem. Uh, Mark two circuit, no problem. Planks actually are a bit awkward. You can do planks from a plank block. Or you can make it by compressing for sawdust. And the recipe for sawdust is you can either get it from Tetraborn's um, scrap boxes. Well, I had a lot of this and I've used it up. We can also make a sawmill. Which will, in fact, this one's very good. This is the one from um, Tech Industrial Revolution, and it will then, it'll, as you can see, it gives you dust sticks and six logs. The other one is from um, Tech Reborn, which doesn't give you so much, but it does give you paper and, and stuff like that. So, the two recipes that I have prepared already this is the, the Tech Reborn one. So, it's got these three diamond saw plates. It's actually a lot more expensive, but we'll take it anyway. And this is the one from um, Industrial Revolution. So it's silver plates, Mark 1 circuits, batteries and bronze plates. We can make this sawmill up like this. In fact, we'll use this one to start with because I need some sawdust in order to complete this one. So let's get that started. I just need some power. Um, let's put it here. I think that's probably a good place to put it. Like that, so I got power. Yes, it has. I haven't put any speed upgrade in. I'm just going to take some wood out of here. The reason I put a fence around this is because the iron golems keep going into there. But the iron golems are also going in here as well, and I don't get it. This is the rancher I've set up. We'll have a look at that in a second. As you can see, they're all getting stuck in there. Either they're spawning or they're getting in somehow. But don't ask me how they're doing it. I keep taking them out. And they keep going back in again. So there we are. So, right, wood. Let's put some wood into here. This is dark oak. I've got quite a lot of dark oak. So we should be able to, to do this reasonably quickly. It's a bit slow. Let's see if we've got any more upgrades for that one. I have got energy upgrades, but no speed upgrades. Can we craft a speed upgrade? And yeah, let's craft one of these while it's doing those. Start that. Uh, you may have noticed I've changed my um, arrangement here for the uh, uh, molecular assembler um, because what the problem was if you've got 32 there's 32 blocks here you can see if you look here 32 channels of 32 channels being used so I changed to this arrangement which is described in the wiki so I'm not going to go through that it's actually quite good there were two recipes described right so we've got some sawdust now so now let's take the sawdust have a look quick at the uses again I think it was to put it in the compressor we can make paper with it that's fine we can put it in the composter to make some bone meal and we can compress it to make planks this will make three planks and i only need two so that's fine let's just do that one let's put it into this compressor here as you can see we've got our planks now so we can then finish the fissure off so let's look for oh we've got our speed grades upgrades well we'll put that straight away into the into the sawmill to make things go a little bit faster there you go. So as you can see, this will of course will fill up and then stop processing when it reaches 60 of both types. So right, here we go. So let's have a look at the planks. We need the planks. And we've got three. We need two of those. Simply right clicking it takes the, the, the maximum two divided by two, by the way. So there we go. So here we can put these two planks in here and make a fissure. I've never used this, by the way. I'm um, just going to look, have we got the manual in here somewhere? Maybe I've got the manual in my backpack. Yes, I've got two Industrial Revolution map manuals. We should have a look at those because that does explain to you some of the stuff that we've got. So, for example, we can come and put this, we can come and have a look at the rancher now. So let's go and have a look at the rancher in the book to start with. Um, 
and then we should be able to factories have set up uh, machines so here we've got a fisher and the rancher okay so that's the recipe as we can see so if you put a sword in here it will kill animals um within the range of the the branch we've set up you can put the bucket in there and that will collect milk from cows and you can put wheat seeds and carrots which will actually feed the animals and that's all it really says about this doesn't it so it's a machine focused to automate animal farming and supports and enhancement upgrades which require some items to function put them in a two by two square Okay, I'm not quite sure what that means. That's why I was a bit hesitant. But all I've done here is I've put it in the middle. The ranch is at the bottom and I've got a sword in it. And as you can see, it's been harvesting animals. If I take the sword out now, oh, it'd be good if I had a bucket with me, wouldn't it? Let's have a look. I've got a bucket of milk here. We can drink. Oh, I've got 14 buckets in. So we can simply put a bucket in here instead of the... That, and it'll start to fart as you can see or automatically did four milk buckets straight away which is fine the other thing you can put in here is a shears and that will shear the sheep but i hopefully it tells you about that in the book because he pushed around by the animals just get out of the way a bit um solar generator is not a bad one to put on top of it it's enough power for the, this particular machine so let's have a look i want to get a, have i got some shears i should have some shears actually here we go you can en enchant these items that you put into here. So I did enchant the sword. Uh, so as you can see, it's um, a smite five sword. If we put these into here like this, it'll start to shear sheep. As you see, we've got 41 white wool. That was fairly quickly, I think. <laughs> They've just about all been sheared here. Let's go and get some more food for them because I've got some food over here. So we've got some pigs. Uh, oh, yes, wheat. We've got wheat in here like this. And we've got some um, nothing in there probably carrots will be in here plenty of carrots let's take out a stack of carrots and then put those into here and you can see what actually happens so if i right click this here it's got this show the range and i've set it to five so you can see the range here so everything is in this range so i did change this a little bit um let's now we've got 42 as you see this is shearing up the sheet quite nicely a speed upgrade you can put into it in configuration you can configure that configure this i've got a mating limit of 32 and it kills after eight now i think it's it's a bit strange the way that works i think it's eight of that type so let's put some carrots into here for example like that and you'll see straight away i put these the pigs are being fed like that and if we put some wheat in then the cows and the the sheep will be fed so we'll be getting babies of each of those and then we can put the sword back in again and it'll start it'll start to farm the the animals as they as they sort of grow up so that's how that works fairly straightforward oh i didn't turn off the i didn't turn off the block let's just quickly turn that off hide the wrench So it's very handy, for, especially for wool, and especially, but you do get a lot, so it's probably best to stop it after a while. So the next thing is to have a look at the fisher. I haven't done this one yet. Let's go back. Fisher. Fish farming. So it's, yeah, okay, the only requirement is a fishing rod. So I guess it needs some water too. Anyway, it's night time. I'll be back in a second. I'll prepare a little area and we'll, we'll start from there. Right, little areas prepared as you can see. Now I'm going to just put the fishing beside this to start with. This is a chest where I've got some fishing rods in. So let's just put this down. And uh, that's the, not the one we want. We want the, the rancher that's here. If I shift right click that onto there, it should put the rancher into place. The basic fisher, sorry. <laughs> Getting mixed up. So we need to configure this now. So let's just change the rancher to configure mode. So I reckon that we could, yes, I think we could possibly put another chest on this side what we'll do is we'll have this for input and output and we can auto push and auto pull that we find the left hand side we don't need to do anything with we'll just turn that off like that so now if we have a look at this it should have a fishing rod in it but it's probably got no power so let's just put it on here let's put simply put a, a solar panel on top of it and that should give it some power 
yes it is so slowly going up uh, I'm a bit sure to, I'm not quite sure how this is not giving it a fishing rod let's just have a look at that again there's not much you can do with the configuration of this one so configure machine auto input from the right from the west side connected to a chest that should then work doesn't do it. tell you what we'll put in a, let's put in a fishing rod uh, i might have got the configuration wrong i don't know yet let's just push the fishing rod in and sure enough it did something <laughs> and it caught a, an oak fish straight away uh that's interesting i didn't know we had oak fishes so maybe i'll put another chest on the other side of it i've got chests available let's go to the, my backpack here let's take out a chest And it looks as though all I have to do is put this on here, then configure this again to get the input from the left hand side here. We we'll just change this to being output in that case, as it's intended. And we've already got two fish. Let's just get all of these control click those fishing rods into here, like that. And they should then hopefully go straight into the fisher. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. Now, you can actually put enchanted fishing rods in here as well so we've already got three fish so that's working quite nicely let's go and enchant one of these fishing rods i've got in here see if it makes any difference i've got 59 um x levels of xp at the moment so we should be able to do a level three fishing enchant straight away this is also filled up so i can't stand on it let's just put this into here like this see what we get i'm breaking three that's probably a good one as it happens we'll try it anyway what do we get look at the c2 fantastic so we've got a reasonably good enchant on that straight away with them breaking three this should last a reasonable amount of time and it seems that i'm not sure how big the water pond has to be below it we'll soon see let's just take this uh to use the right tools ha empty hand we can change this out now and put into a, a normal fishing rod an enchanted fishing rod oops oh it is working this time oh fantastic okay try that then we can put those into here and it'll take those out as it needs it so maybe with a uh, look of the sea two fishing rod rules you'll get some better stuff coming out of here like this. anyway we'll leave that for a while <clears throat> see what it does and in the meantime i shall put this sawmill down somewhere else and i'll see in a few seconds well, you know i thought this was going to be a single block machine but it turns out it's actually a multi-block as you can see it's got this brown bit underneath these machines and it looks to me as though any machine with a brown base which you can't see so easily a multi suddenly become multi-block machines this one isn't but the industrial ones tend to be like that anyway it's a multi-block machine i thought okay let's have a look at it so we can press oh so it is a three it is a three by three and a bucket of water in the middle and that actually it's actually fairly expensive this particular machine compared to the one these so these are basic machine frames we need uh, so we would need um 18 plus some advanced machine frames i'm not even sure i can do that let's have a look i did set up there are some more recipes let's have a look casings i said frames didn't i so we can craft eight of these so that we actually got the resources to do that Oh, we have so we can actually start that this will craft industrial machine oh that must be the wrong one hold on a second let me double check it because i'm industrial machine oh advanced machine just you can tell by the color yes these are advanced so we need 18 basics let's have a look at 18 basics next actually that won't be a problem we can start that one and that should go fairly quickly as it happens so if we have a look at the recipes over here it's, got, it's already done 14 10 so it's going down fairly fast as you can see we've got refined iron which are now going through the which machine actually it could be the blast furnace they're going through the blast furnace here so that's with these up speed upgrades in it it's very fast so those are done and you get they come in force so we need advanced machine casings so we need eight of those so let's get those done as well we can do that as well fantastic and again this stuff is coming in here i could as you can see this is quite adequately fast enough it's making steel dust so it's been doing the whole lot <laughs> that probably means i've got something coming out in one of these items in here because we need to make some ice oh, carbon mesh and some silicon 
Uh, so they can all make some silicon plates. So let's put those into here. Blast furnace. And while we're doing that, let's get these compressed in the compressor. These two all carbon meshes. We've got our carbon plates and we should have our silicon plates in here. I also did some tungsten and lingots in, in between time to test how the, uh, the power is going into that machine. Actually, it's going in very well, so I can run that all the time. Carbon plates, silicon plates, tungsten plates, which will probably mean we're going to get another item in the chest here. The process, <clears throat> I'm doing this, okay, these are, these are basic um, advanced machine frames, uh, advanced circuits. Let's put those into here. Oops, wrong one. Doesn't work that way. Now, there is a crafting recipe for advanced circuits, and I suspect I was talked about this last time, I think, and I might well and do in, indeed put that in. In fact, I've actually speeded up this chest as well. I've put in here four acceleration upgrades. So if I click that, they should just go straight out rather than going out one at a time. So what else? So that's done. So now we have our advanced machine. Wrong, wrong place. Let's look in here. Okay, I shall come back in a second when this is assembled. I don't need to assemble this on camera. I'll see you in a few seconds. Well, that's what it looks like, as you can see. Somehow or other, it's got some power in. But I don't know where it's got the power from, because I haven't tried anything up as far as I know. <clears throat> anyway, so that's what it is. I'll put it somewhere else. It was as simple as that, with a bucket of water in the middle. If you look at the hem, there's actually one bucket. As well, it says a bucket, but actually it's not a bucket. Let's just uh, break that off. You can see it is a bucket of water, but it's put placed down. Let's just remove this like that. And then we can simply break this all up. Like that. And then we can simply break. Is that one not broken? Oh, those are just images out there. So we have the bits for that. We're already done. <clears throat> right. Next thing. I would like to start with some um, industrial revolution in this particular case. Modern industrialization. Sorry. Let's have a look at the quest book for this because this is the, probably the best place to start. I haven't been doing quest books for a while. That's mouse, mouse configuration. Um, because a lot of the quests that I've completed are of something coming back again and uh, and I can't get them running again so, but we can start with modern industrialization no problem whatsoever so the first thing we need to make was a forge hammer very easy we did that at the very beginning um because it was the first way to ore double in the series then we've got a wrench and then we've got a 37 of our clay fire bricks so let's wrench so the wrench is here in fact we also need a coke oven. So wrench is this one recipe. It's just bronze plates, six bronze plates. If you haven't, um, the recipe for bronze plates would be normally to compress it. If you haven't got a compressor yet, then you can hammer them. So the recipe for the hammer, if you use the hammer recipe, so you need a double bronze ingot will produce this. And a double bronze ingot, the recipe for that is basically two bronze ingots hammered in the uh, hammer but you can also use a packer but you can't do the packer because that's the other way around if you see what i mean so you can then do two of those so you're doing double the amount of stuff for what you need at the beginning but that's life you can't do think about it and this is the hammer so it's got two modes this has got a hammer mode and it's got a saw mode so you just simply click left click this and it'll t change the modes for you so we've got that so we've got a uh, wrench we'll claim that one and it's the quest is complete. Let's go and have a look at this now. Go back to that. So we've completed this quest. And we get some bronze plates and two bronze plates for that one. So let's just claim those. And then the next one along there was the coke oven. Now the coke oven we can make, which is basically one furnace surrounded by bricks. Pretty straightforward Minecraft stuff. So we're not going to cover that too much. And again, I've actually reached a goal and I quitted it. A quest. So let's go back and have a look at this again. So here we here we can see it. So we actually get for that a block of steel. Well, that's just a nice generous reward. And then oh, I need to go back again. I think I've got a button program for this. I'm not sure which one it is. This one yet. So close that off, and we can have a look at the next thing we have to do. So we have to make four 
iron item pipes and four iron fluid pipes so let's have a look at those i think i might have that repaired yes i have it's basically a recipe like this and that will make well i thought it was a recipe like this let's have a look uh, item pipes so at modern and we'll have a look for iron so we've got f item pipes and fluid pipes item pipes are basically ah oh, yes i need to curve these up okay the recipe for curved iron plates is just to compress a iron plate and we can do that here or we can do that in the forge hammer if we do it in the forge hammer then you get three for one large plate so you're getting a large plate as this recipe so you can craft them up or i can stick them through the compressor and any compressor should do i think if not if not i've tough i'll have to do it the long way around so let's just put those through a compressor probably this one's the easiest to use yeah indeed so we should get 12 of those so we can then do what i want to do in the first place like that and then we get six iron iron item pipes and then we put three glass planes in the middle of that we shall get six iron fluid pipes as simple as that so we've completed those two quests let's go now back to the quest book again so we've completed this one and we get some uh, steak tato tacos which are great and then we come back here we can have claim this one and we get what do we get here some sushi and some a block of bronze that's also quite generous one as well so we can claim those two rewards by just simply clicking on them close that off next thing is this 37 fire clay bricks and then we start on the machines this is uh, the the reason we do this is uh it's fairly slow we've got to make 37 of these and then we'll get the blast furnace as a reward now let's have a look at this in the terms of the in terms of the recipes so we need to make these fire clay bricks and those are made from uh fly, fire clay bricks are made from a fire clay brick and this is made from uh smelting or putting in a furnacing the um clay, fire clay dust the fire clay dust is made from clay plus brick dust now brick dust we can do that where you can put it in the mixer but we haven't got that far yet the mixer would simply just mix two bits together and make the same thing i'm not sure why you get four instead of three okay uh the brick dust is basically made by little tiny brick dusts or we can put a brick into the macerator we haven't built the macerator yet so we need to do it this way so we need small tiny <laughs> brick tiny dust is made from hammering bricks so i've got a few bricks already let's just take these bricks out of here i'm not sure exactly how many we need well let's just put a stack in here and hammer that into brick dust so we get three for each one so take it give us three stacks of that and then we can to convert these into uh, brick dust by doing it like this and then we can press the recipe on that one shift recipe simply click them in so we get the rest of them there so we've got 21 of those for one stack and then we've got three left over so 21 and then we need this with some dust here that we can make that so let's do that 60 plus 21 is going to give us 30 it's going to begin to get 30 clock we need 37 we need four times that amount don't we let's get the other let's get the other bits done as well while i'm thinking about it so i might as well put these two in here i think we're going to need it well i reckon we're going to need this and my inventory is full i have to put do it like this now recipe and then we can put those back into the hammer And then we can do the recipe of this. And we haven't got enough to do in the next one because oh, yes, we have, so we'll do that. We get nine left over, so it'll, it'll give us exactly this. So let's do the recipe of that and make again. The three stacks gives you exactly 
44 plus what we've already done, which will be nice because that'll give us. Ex Oops, missed. Right again. Hopefully that's enough for what we need. So now we need to go and smelt these up. That shouldn't be too difficult. Let's go and put these into our uh, factory. So which one is the furnace? I think this one. So we can simply shift click these into here like this. And we should be able to do those all at one, in one go, as you can see. I haven't demonstrated this before, but you can see it's nice and nice and it's very fast. Let's go back. I'm flying, but I'm not flying. I do like the angel room, by the way. It's really good. You can do, you, obviously, you can fly up. You can drop down. And you don't take any damage. It also gives you full protection. So, right now, what do we need? We needed bricks. So we've got 90 of these. Hopefully, we've got enough now. Let's pick them all out of that to make these fire clay bricks. I've actually prepared one over here to show you what we do. So, we've got to put those in. We'll take the other three like that. So now we just make these into bricks, is it like this? Yes, good. That gives us 16, which is not enough. Um, and seven <laughs> with 23. I'm a, quite a few short. I'll tell you what, I'll be back in a second with the ones we need. Right, well, four stacks produces 24 fire clay bricks with that particular method, which is what you'd have to do at the beginning. So let's have a look at the next quest as we've got. So let's get rid of that and have a look at this one. So we've completed this and we get that blast furnace. And then the next quest, we oh, didn't, didn't have a look at the next thing to do, did I? Let's close this off. So then we can do the start to do machines, but we've also got the steam blast furnace. So let's have a look at the steam blast furnace. We'll give us steam large plates and I guess this is the power mechanism you have in here so let's have a look at this for let's have a look for recipe for that one I guess it's the uses of these as it happens let's have a look at uses oops try again these fire clay bricks we didn't look at the uses of those so let's look at the uses of these as you can see they're used in making machines in here and it says here you've got an assembler which you can use the same thing so one steam for blast furnace well, plus 32 will make a multi-plot material so what is the recipe for a steam blast furnace let's have a look this recipe huh. oh sorry so we need a black fur blast furnace and the eight of those will produce what we need so we've got the blast furnace as a, as a reward which is handy because that saves a bit of time and we can basically put this around here like this and then just right drag the mouse around here like this and we get our steam blast furnace so we got the blast furnace quest is now completed this is a multi-block one <clears throat> so have a look at see what it does hopefully we've got enough space here so i have no idea i've not done this yet let's put it down invalid shape so we need 32 of these so let's leave eight out of here how on the earth are we going to do 32 what's the recipe for this doesn't tell you does it, it just says invalid shape so maybe maybe we have to do something like this i'm not 100 percent sure i'll tell you what i'll have a quick research and i'll be back in a second yeah invalid shape Well, I'm not 100% sure, but there is a recipe for a book. So let's have a look if the book is useful for it. So it's basically one book surrounded by eight copper ingots will produce a modern guide. So let's have a look at this guide, see what we get information we get about it. So index entry. So what we would like to have is a steam machine. Your first bronze hot water. Okay, so we put it through a furnace and we get some steam buckets. Okay, that's probably not too difficult. Let's have a look. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So that's good. not really helpful. It's steam machines. Does it tell me how to build a steam generator? I'm not seeing it. Let's have a look if we can find it in the index for a large steam boiler. Here we go. Nope, must be a steam boiler. Don't know. I'll come back in a second when I found it. 
Well, I might be going too fast in this particular case. I think I've probably got to go down this route here. Now, I claim those. We've got some steel plates for that. So we need to make a bronze boiler. Uh, I'll do that. I think we'll do that for next time. Well, before I go, let's have a look and see what we've caught for fish. Mm, a reasonable amount of fish, not particularly inspiring. Uh, the fishing rod broke and we didn't get any in super enhanced items i think that's been sort of nerfed in this pack so as you can see it's working just fine and also the uh, farmer is working just fine well that's it for this episode i do hope you've enjoyed it and learned something new well until next time when we shall be carrying on with modern industrialization i wish you all the best bye for now